Welcome to the Chatelaine Test Kitchen. I'm Monda Rosenberg. In the previous sections, we stuffed the bird, we roasted the bird, and we made the gravy. And now it's time to carve. I take the finished bird, put it on the platter, arrange the garnishes around it, and take it into the dining room, set it in the center of the table as the focus point for the first course of the dinner but then I bring it into the kitchen to carve it. And the first thing you should do is take the stuffing out. The reason is that warm stuffing in a warm bird is not a good idea. And providing you take all the stuffing out, you can leave the stuffing for at least a couple of hours. Then you're ready to carve. And the first part that you take off is the leg and the thigh portion. The easiest way to do that is just take the bird by the leg and then pull it back like this and then you cut down through here and you just remove that section from the bird. There's just one little joint there that has to be cut through and put it over here on the cutting board and we'll come back to that later. The next is the breast. Hold the wing down. You can do this with a fork if you want or just use your fingers and Slice all the way along the bottom. You make a nice straight cut and it's horizontal to the cutting board. That way when you make the slices, they're going to fall down naturally when you reach that slice. And don't start at the top of the breast and cut all the way down in the first slice because if you do, only one person's going to get the skin. Start about halfway down and make nice thick slices of white meat. You see how nicely that slice is coming off? Take as many of the white slices off as you think that you're going to use, and then we'll go over to the leg and thigh portion and slice it. And don't slice right straight across the top because once again, only one person will get the skin. What you want to do is just cut across that portion and make nice, neat little slices. And the advantage of waiting until you've sliced the whole turkey before you start arranging it on the platter is that then you can almost put the turkey back together again so that you've got a nice contrast of dark and light on your turkey platter just as we've done here and when you get to that stage then you know what your work is done and the best is yet to come the leftovers cheers <laughs>